Hello friends, welcome to a new session for coding for kids using scratch programming language. So we just started with animation. I hope that you're enjoying creating your animations. Now let's have a different sort of animation. So with the help of this, we are going to animate your name. Okay, by different different uh, animation techniques or uh, we apply on the characters that your name is having here. So in this video, we are going to see how to animate the characters or how to animate your names. So let's decide your name first. Okay. And uh, how to add the characters that we will see. And after that, we'll animate them with different, different animation effects get added there. Okay. So let's delete your sprite first. Okay. And now let's add the character. So I'll add my name as Mitu, M-I-T-U. Okay. So if you go to latest part here. You can see this multiple letters are present to add in this sprite. So let's add the names M. Okay. So first I'm adding. Now let's add one more. Go to letters I. Okay. M I. Then let's go to T. T. Okay. T and the last is U. Okay. So I'll animate all of this. Okay. So these are the initial positions that I want to set. Let's add some interactive background here. So four uh, different sprites I've added M, I, T and U. Okay. Let's add the backdrop. Let's choose the backdrop. Choose it. Let's add some interactive backdrop that I want. Okay. Let's, let's just check it. Check it. Yeah. Underwater. Let's add one to water. Okay. This is somewhat good. Let's add the animations. So uh, I'll decide my animations. First animation for M uh, will be, I'll rotate this M for three number of times. For I, I'll uh, do to change the size, okay, last size small, like, okay, and that animation I'll do for I. For T, I'll change the color of T, okay, different, different shades of the T and it will set it to its original position, okay. And for U, I'll make use of the glide animation, so gliding around the complete, uh, area and then at the end it will situate its original positions like you might have seen such animations in the cartoon channels also so it will be a opportunity for you to create this animation by your own so you can use any kind of character script so there are three different ways in characters are present into sprite you can choose any one of these so i've chosen the first way of these characters here so let's go step by step. So first of all, I'll apply the M. So this M is chosen. You can see this M is present over here. I want to rotate this M by some amount of degrees. Okay, so let's rotate this. So first of all, I'll choose my action where the actions are. Okay, so when I click the flag, then after only I have to do the operations. So turn by 15 degrees. Okay, turn by 15 degrees. Okay, so when I click my flag so this m will be turned by 15 degrees let's try that see this it's rotating correct but i want to do this operation for a repetitive number of times so you know that total 360 degrees are there 360 degrees are there so let's make use of like repeat 10 degrees for 36 number of times that's possible okay so let's make it original position again to 90 degrees okay and we'll repeat this particular operation, repeat move 10 degrees by, okay, for three number of times, okay, sorry, 10 degrees for 36 number of times. So a complete rotation is possible over there. So let's go to control and repeat this operation for uh, 36 number of times, okay, check this, 36, turn by. 10 degrees okay turn 10 degrees 36 number of times let's try this correct yes this is how the rotation of uh, the character is possible there and even i can repeat this operation three number of times means three rotations will be there okay how to so let's use repeat again or another repeat okay so let's add it repeat over the repeat and outer repeat i'll do for three number of times internally it is one time and three number of times let's try that one, two, three. See, these rotations are done. 
okay so in this way rotation of character single character is possible that's we have done with the help of the turn and repeat statements okay so uh, to the i i'll just click on i now so what to do with the i as i told we have to change the size of the i by some some number of steps so let's try that how to change the size okay so let's go to control sorry event it's clicked okay and change the size by some value okay so let's change the size by 10 okay change the size by 10 let's try this okay you can see if you can observe that the eye is changing the size see and repetitively clicking on that uh, so i'll just move larger and again i'll set its original position to the uh, hundred percent whatever uh, we call it there okay fine so let's do this one change size by 10 and i'll do this operation repetitively okay let's try check it out uh, what i'm doing here control let's repeat this operation for 10 number of times okay 10 times and similar to that i'll duplicate this and add one more time repeat 10 number of times but repeat change the size by minus 10 times okay minus 10 and now let's check this and connect it here okay so let's make their original position here i'll make my m's direction perfectly at 90 degree correct and y for i i'll keep the size as 100 again original position okay now see this one so i have repeated the size change for 10 number of times plus and after that again minus 10 number of times means it will gain its original position back correct now let's click on that see this have you changed in the effect okay incremented again decremented because we have done this operation here incremented 10 number of times size by 10 and decremented 10 number of times size by 10 okay and uh, as we have seen we have done three rotations here let's do this operation three times here so let's repeat again let's take the repeat and put it here okay so repeat this three number of times for i only and now see so rotation three number of times and increment decrement also three number of times that's we have seen so m is rotated and i is increased and decreased with the size now let's go for t okay let's click on t so for t i told uh, we have to change the uh, color of the t so to change the color of the t let's use of the color options here so let's go to your events this flag is clicked change the color okay so let's change the color effect by some value let's change the color effect by uh, 5 okay color effect by 5 and repeat this operation for almost uh, 10 number of times okay so let's go for repeat and it here 10 number of times remember that it is incrementing the value similar to that we have to decrement the value also so let's right click on that duplicate and here so operation that we require here it should to decrement the value by minus 5 also okay like this let's okay gain the original position and now see this repeated change the color effect by plus 5 and after that 10 number of times color effect by minus 5 that's it let's try this and observe the t now only one time it has done this operation correct only one time it has changed this but uh, i'll add one more repeat over it and do this operation five number of times over this okay and change this five number of times done for t i've added all of these animations now and let's try that again now observe t see this yeah so this is done this is how we can add the color changing effect to a respective character okay color changing effect so here t is applied with and let's go for the last one that is u uh, I told we can apply the gliding effect to it. Okay, so let's do this one. Let's add an event and click it. 
and go to the motions change the glide effect okay so this is initial position i'll just keeping it separately remember initial position is i'm keeping separately okay so now u is here okay check the position of glide now u is here check the position of glide now u is u is here change the position of glide and finally the u is here to so check the position of glide and post it here and now finally original position okay so five times i just moved my uh, u around the output and based on that i just change the glide positions you can just check it the glide positions present over here and uh, accordingly that u will move and last position is the original position where you have to settle down the u okay okay yeah now that's done let's try the things go check the u now yeah it's all it has uh, get the original position out there so this is how the character animations are possible so every character is animated with different different things okay and then they are uh, finally situated at the position and i got my name uh, mitu over here okay so rotation effect to m just can check it rotation effect to m that we can do this way then we can have the size changing effect to i we can do in this way we can have the color effect to the uh, t you can do by this way All under the color we can see many more effects are present can check the brightness pixel rate mosaic we have seen already in the uh, previous topics of uh, the looks okay and the u which will we have a gliding effect present over here okay so in this way we are going to do in the next animation also i'll be showing the gliding effect uh, how it can be perfectly added to uh, one of the characters or set of characters by which we can create a, a good animated effect gliding effect to your characters easily okay before closing the session i'll just check the uh, show the output again check this fine so this is how we are uh, performing the operations of character animation so you can try by your own name happy coding and thanks a lot